Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home Design Team, and today I am making a simple brag book with you. And I will fast forward through any parts that I can just for time's sake for the video, but I do want to show you a few of the items that I'm using. I have two pieces of medium weight chipboard that I cut to five by seven. I will be using the Spellbinders A2 Bracket Borders 1. This is a really neat die set. It comes with these seven pieces here and four of them are edge, will cut the edge of the paper. The other two are decorative and you'll see more um, what I'm talking about when we go to use them. Also, I'll be using some of the beautiful Gilded Lily collection from Graphic 45. Let me just flip through a couple of these. This is from the 6x6. Of course, their papers are always double-sided. And this is just a stunning collection. I plan on ordering the entire collection, but here's just a few pieces for you to be able to see. And here's from the 8x8. Here's some of the cut-aparts. Look how beautiful those are. This is probably my favorite. I love this one as well. I just love Graphic 45 papers and they all tend to go so well together, all their collections. Like this would match the botanical tea very well. Here is from the Tags and Pockets. And the 12 by 12, they have the larger cut aparts. This might be my favorite. I said the other one, but I just love all of them actually. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll get the supplies together that I will be using. Okay, so I prepped some of my stuff, and what I have here is my papers. I cut them from the 8x8 collection, and I've already adhered the back cover and the inside of the back cover. Here is the front cover, and I left this one to do on camera. This is the Angel Craft Tape in the 1 quarter inch. It's a very strong double-sided adhesive. It also comes in 1 half inch if you prefer to use that. I also have another piece of scrap paper from my collection that I thought went well with this paper here, which will be my front cover. And I'm also using some Nina paper. This is the mid-tone Nina paper. It's their craft color. And I used 10 sheets and cut them all to five by seven. I will also be using my cinch to bind this together. So let me just go ahead and adhere my paper. You can also use Angel Craft Podge. Adding a little bit of wet glue to the middle. And now I'm going to ink the edges in Vintage Photo Distress Ink. If you'd like, you can color the edges of your chipboard with Distress Paint or Distress Ink if you wanted to before adhering your papers. I usually do that, but being that I'm using this craft color, it matches my chipboard so I didn't worry about it. But like I said, I'm um, 
I do want the edges inked. Okay, so now that all the, these edges are inked, I'm going to be cutting this piece of paper. And these border dies are meant for a, an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this sample here is five and a half, and let me zoom in just a little bit. So again, this is five and a half wide. So if you put the blade, it has little notches on either side, this side here and right here. You can line up those notches to the edge of your paper, and then you'll want to tape it down. So they match up perfectly on the edge of that paper. That's how you can get a perfect card uh, cut for the front of your card. Okay, but I'm using a little bit smaller piece. I'm using a five instead of a five and a half, but that doesn't matter. I'm just gonna match it up as best as I can. And I'm going to use a ruler. You don't have to do this, you can eyeball it, but I want to mark it to help me with my guides. So I'm lining it up at the zero mark here. And then I'm also going to use my T-square to help me extend that line just a little. I'll erase these lines once I'm done. And now I'm just going to measure across. I'm not, I'll just, uh, again, eyeball it. I'm not too worried about how high up I go. And now the first thing I want to do, being that this one is an edge cut, so it's going to cut the edge of my paper. This one is just a decorative cut. I'm going to tape these together, and they line up perfectly. I'll use a little bit of washi tape. And now I'll tape that on my card using my guide my line as a guide. And now I'm adding another border die here. This will not cut, this will just cut out this decorative piece on the inside and I'll add more washi tape to that to hold it down as well. Okay, so I've added quite a bit of washi tape on there, just I don't want it to move. And now I can place this in my Sizzix. And I like to run this few, through a few times if I'm using a thick paper, which um, Graphic 45 is pretty thick. So I, I ran that through twice. I'm also going to add another piece of paper to act as a shim. And And as you can see, it cut a perfect edge. You can also use wax paper in between your die and your paper, and it should get all those pieces out. But if not, they're very simple to just pop out. 
and they'll just pop out that way. I'll leave that for later. So here is what our edge looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Let me hold it up under a piece of paper. So it just peeks through to the other paper. So I'm trying to decide if I want to glue this paper down or leave it open. I also like it with white behind it. It really makes this cut stand out. So I think I'm going to cut a white piece of paper quickly as well, just using the edge die. Okay, now it matches up perfectly with that edge, which I might extend a little. So now I'm going to use my cinch to bind this together. If you do not own a cinch, you can put holes on either side and put binding rings. You can thread ribbon through if you want. They also have those things at the office supply store that um, you can put through and bend down. I, I forget what they're called, but there's many ways to bind this if you don't own a bind it all or a cinch. So let me go ahead and fast forward through that. So now this is perfect to add four by six photos or a little journaling to, and now I will go ahead and embellish the front.
So here is my finished little brag book. This would make a great brag book to give to a grandmother or a mother. Um, it was very simple to make and I hope you've enjoyed today's process. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and please check out Cut at Home's blog where all the products will be listed along with detailed photos. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.